<coughs> Let me show you how to start out on these two problems. So here's the structure that I gave you. And the CH3s we're not going to um, do anything with because if we wanted to, we could redraw these to have three hydrogens attached to each carbon. And the carbon already has four bonds, so there's nothing else I can do to that. Now, the nitrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, remember that this overall is a neutral molecule so that now let's go ahead and add the numbers of electrons for the neutral atoms around each one. And what do I mean by that? Well, nitrogen would be would have one, two, three, and then needs a fourth and a fifth electron. This nitrogen would have one, two, three, four, five electrons. And then a neutral oxygen atom would have one, two, three, four, five, and six valence electrons. So this is the way I like to put the structure together, simply because that way I know I'm putting the right numbers of electrons into um, the neutral atom. So, so in this case now, this nitrogen over here, this nitrogen has basically is sharing um, and owns eight electrons, so it's octets filled. And what I need to do with this nitrogen and oxygen is share those two unpaired electrons to now give me a com the completed octet for both of those. So let me summarize, let me um, take the CH3s and kind of summarize those, or kind of condense those down. Then I'll take this nitrogen that has now a lone pair. It's going to come over to this nitrogen that has a lone pair. And now that nitrogen is going to have a double bond to the oxygen that now has two lone pairs. And so now I have a valid structure to start from. And how do I know that? Because my nitrogen ha my nitrogen here, what's its formal charge? It, it came with five. It now owns one, two, three, for five valence electrons, so it has a zero formal charge. This nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five valence electrons. It's zero formal charge. And then this oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six. It came with six, it has six, so it has a zero formal charge. So that would be resonance structure A. And it's going to be stable because it has all zero formal charges. The formal charges have to add up to zero in this case because this is a neutral molecule. So if your formal charges are adding up to minus one or minus two or minus three, then you have the incorrect structure. Okay, So that would be resonance structure number one. I'll show you how to draw resonance structure number two and then you can check it. So in this case, what I would want to do is this. I'd want to take this pair of electrons and form a nitrogen-nitrogen double bond. But if I stop there, nitrogen has 10 electrons. So instead, I'm, so at the same time I'm bringing this pair of electrons down, I'm going to take this pair of electrons and give it to the oxygen. So now... I'm going to have a double bond to this nitrogen with a lone pair that now has a single bond because I broke that to give each of the oxygen three lone pairs. And so now I'm in a position where I now I'm going to calculate the formal charges. I will just tell you the formal charges must add up to zero. They must, the sum must equal zero. And then once you have the resonance structures, um, then you can, once you have this resonance structure and the formal charges, then you can go ahead and write the resonance hybrid. So if you have a question, you can email me um, your structure and I'll take a look at it. Okay. Looking at the second problem, it's going to be very similar. So in this case, the overall charge on this 
is that's also a neutral molecule. It's the CH2 with the N and the other N. So going back here to the going back here to the structure, um, I'm now going to put electrons into this to give me a neutral molecule. So carbon has four valence electrons, one, two, three, four. Nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five. And this nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five. And so now you can see if you can pair up electrons and not violate the octet rule in order to form the um, in order to form that first resonance structure and then you could move the arrows to the second resonance structure um, so in other words uh, what am I I'm in a position here where I might say okay let me take this lone pair and give it to the carbon so that my carbon looks like this it has a lone pair and now take say to this nitrogen let me donate you donate the nitrogen to make a double bond and then the nitrogen on the end would have a lone pair and so if I did that what am I missing well this nitrogen here is missing a lone pair or is missing a, having a completed octet so what I need to do I guess is I need the don't to bring that pair of electrons there so now I've got a double bond to the nitrogen and a double bond to the other nitrogen so there's one resonance structure and you can go ahead and calculate the formal charges on that structure now to form the second structure to form the second resonance structure what I'm going to do is I would take this pair of electrons donate it here but if I do that then I've got to donate this pair of electrons out to the carbon to keep the center nitrogen from being having 10 on un 10 valence or shared electrons so now that nitrogen is going to get that lone pair and then the nitrogen here is going to have a triple bond to that nitrogen and so those two resonance structures then you want to write the formal charges to and then after you've written the formal charge decide which one is more stable than the other and then write the resonance hybrid okay.